What's up, everyone? DJ Christians, aka Love Guru, here, and I have my guest here. Hey, Diddy. And we're here to talk about why women are dumb in a relationship. The only reason why I'm talking about this subject because there are a lot of women that are dumb in general. I'm not saying all you ladies out there have, I guess, those dumb blonde moments, but uh, there is one that that we mostly us guys tend to, you know, um, I don't know, like forget. Well, not literally forget, but doesn't don't understand where all you women say uh, talk about mixed signals, and we don't tend to get that. Why? Why are you giving us mixed signals? Like telling us this and that. Okay, Diddy. I have dealt with mixed signals a lot, and I can't stand them. I, women, some women that know me don't like me because I want direct answers. I, I hate mixed signals. They want to give me hints and I look at them like uh, I'm not going through all that. This ain't a game. Tell me straight out. You like me or you don't. That's all I want. I mean, otherwise I'm going to be here for 10 years liking one person. I need a straightforward answer. And and that, that's the thing like we're, I don't know if we should call us slow. <laughs> We have, we shouldn't have to be prying into their they brains, man. They don't want us to read their minds. They hate it when we do, and yet they hate us when we don't read their minds. You're being hey. contradicting here, so you know, figure this out. Tell freaking truth. Even I said in my video. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's like it's like saying, you know, it's like reading a diary. We're not allowed to look at it. Am I correct? Yeah, but yet they want us to know what's going on in their head. Yeah, or like that movie with Mel Gibson, What Women Want. We can't read their mind. I don't yeah. want to read your mind. Y'all nasty. <laughs> We're all here. No, <laughs> women on a different level of nastiness. Uh, okay. Aside, aside from all that, like, uh, I'm not saying that we're, we're the dumb ones because we don't know what you're thinking about. I mean, let us know, like, what you're trying to tell us or what to say, you know, so that we can understand what you're talking about. Thank you. Man, I cannot express enough of how telling the truth will set a brother free. I mean, right now, I'm still just reeling right now because I've been lied to, talked about, mistreated, abused. I don't know the rest of the song, but it's a song anyway. The point is, if you honestly just tell me straight out, don't be afraid of how I feel. I mean, we was watching a video about some dude stalking you because look, they're in a, their ineffection, of, well not, not ineffection, but their failure of telling the truth of I don't want to hang out with you, I don't want you, don't like you like that. Let's just be friends. Literally, friends. And then treat them like one too. Well, I mean, we we, pre we would get that. Like some, some other guys out there do not get the hint saying if they're busy, repeatedly saying that, you should know that well, for us guys saying that, we, we, we know the hint that you don't want to hang out with us. Funk the busy. Funk the busy. Because sometimes you're busy. Okay, I'm busy sometimes. Tell the truth. I'm busy. Oh, you know what? I just don't like you like that. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, now, see, you may be called a B word or an H or, or a sled or whatever. But you know what? That's the price of hurting a man's feelings. At, yeah, at least it's it's better to hear the truth from you ladies than just, you know, lie. That's another trend also. Everyone likes to lie. There's no such thing as the truth. There's no such thing as being nice. That you're too lazy to tell the truth. Lying is so easy. I like to lie saying I'm six foot four. I'm not. I'm, I'm really five foot seven. And I'm just saying that they're, in general that lying is a trend like I said. Everyone likes to lie. That's like we're like so used to it, you know. If if it's better, I said to hear the truth than just to lie. Even making people, you know, like it's it's basically like leading them on. It's like what do you want, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's another thing that that sucks. Another signal where us guys get lead on to all these women saying, "Do you, you want to be with me?" This and that, blah blah. I mean, we all been there and that's what I hate the most I think that would be one of my pet peeves I'm probably guessing yours as well mm -hmm. and it sucks because if you lead them on and then you break their heart come on ladies what is going on just it's better you know to tell us the truth plain and simple what do you expect what would you expect if you lead a person on and it's not what you want 
I mean, it's like, um, I'm going to go to the sex re uh, reference here, okay? If you're in the bed with the guy, yeah, y'all yeah, friends, you in the bed with the guy, you dressed in some booty shorts or whatever, in the room, door closed and locked, and y'all sitting there in the bed watching TV, and you just so happen to move on close to him. Now, now as a guy, we think we trying to get some. Oh, we might get some. But then we try to go for that second base. He's like, oh, what are you doing? No, 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 no. You know better than that. You know guys think about sex. Sit your butt on the edge of the bed so we don't think that you want some. That's simple. Yeah, it, it, I, I don't know. This, this, this world now, it's like, what the hell happened? I know what happened. It's like when we got too confident about their body. See, that's why I want a flat booty woman. Nothing to laugh about. That's the facts. <laughs> I know. I, I'm just saying, like mo most guys there that that focus on the tits and the ass, not everything else. Mm -hmm. If you got the goods, it's all good. Yeah. But not for me though. Like what he said. Uh. Anyways. I guess I can't think of anything else at the moment, but um, for when like, don't give us mixed signals, just tell us straight up, you know, let us know, you know, we don't have, like I said, we don't like it when we're being led on to, and then it's just like teasing, you know, we don't like that, either, either you're gonna do something and stick with it, or just don't do it at all. Nah, 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 if we skip past that subject, let's talk about your attitude. You got one. Plain and simple. And it's confusing. But it's only confusing because we allow it to be confusing. Here, here's the thing right here. If you do something wrong, own up to it. Own up to it. Like, yeah, yeah, I messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, if the guy gets on you, don't, that's no point to fight him back and be illogical about certain things. You know the guy likes you. You know the ex-boyfriend wants you back. You should not be alone with the guy. You could get raped again. All these bad things can happen. Hey, have GPS on your phone. It's not a bad idea. What the heck is the matter with you? Just listen. And be reasonable when you're fighting. Otherwise, you be illogical, then you have a man going off crazy. Learn how to fight better. Uh, I, I, I don't know if that's going to be the right thing, but... <laughs> not fist fight, but learn how to fight. Uh, well, I mean, like, defend emotionally. Yes. With words. We'll just put... Exactly. Okay, just have, like I said from last video, the talk where, you know, have a deep discussion about, you know, what's going on and, you know, and just talk it out. Uh, talk it out. Talk it out. Aside from talk it out. all that, I guess, I think that's pretty much it. Do you have anything else to say, KJ? Um, I have dealt with, okay, I'm not going to say I'm a player no more. Or I crush him. Well, actually, I do no, crush him. I do. <laughs> Every guy crush a lot. Plain no, no, clear, I just crush a lot. And I really do. But the, see, the thing is, all I want is someone I can talk to. Someone that will listen to what I got to say. But that's like, well, I can't say most women now because, like I said, this generation. Yeah, I mean, that, most women don't understand that kind of stuff. Look, I respect you, you respect me. And that's, that's, that's how it is. I'm, I'm going to start going out with girls who have families, right? have a father figure and a mom. Family oriented? Family oriented. Beautiful on the inside. Less makeup, the better. Another thing, please, please ladies, don't overdo makeup. Look, I don't, yeah, okay. I don't want to feel like I'm going to someone's birthday party every time I see you. If I want to blow out candles, I do it at a birthday party, okay? That's like saying, girl, you have like, you know, you have too much makeup that looks like you have cake all over your face or you're trying to look like that, that doll from Saw. I hate that. Uh, I don't want to kiss um, you on the cheek. I don't want to look like Or a having donut. the whole Crayola on your face or looking like a clown. Why? You know, you, you look beautiful without the makeup. Ignore what the guy said, like, you can put on too much makeup. That just basically means that the guy doesn't, you know, really like you. Or, you know, try and disrespect you or the way you really truly look about your inner beauty. Because that is a gentleman. A gentleman that likes you for who you are is the one you need. And lastly, of course, with the makeup thing, if you put too much makeup, you probably look like a slut. There. Because if you put too much makeup on, you're giving the, the, the description that you are a loose woman. And lastly, I also want to talk about why women want to go out with guys that are assholes. Why? 
our asshole so good for you. The thing that I don't understand is when you go out with, with a guy who's like, you know, not even that great looking and um, and they, they go for it. The, the attitude that comes with the guy, the woman just goes for it for some reason. No matter if you get abused in, in words or whatever, and then like next thing you know that you're still with him for God knows how many years. Man. You know, you, you don't need those guys that treat you like crap. Be with a guy that's more like a gentleman. For some particular reason, I don't know why. For some particular reason, you love it when a man has tattoos. I don't know what it is about a tattoo, or maybe if you touch it and you, you feel good inside. I don't know what it is. But you go too much on the image, and the image of an, a bad boy, an asshole as he said it, that image of a bad boy makes you feel safe and secure. Now, I'm not saying that's what it makes you feel. I'm just elaborating that maybe you feel safe because he's a bad boy. If he's willing, I'm just going, I'm just kind of thinking, I'm not saying that's what you think, but if you think that he can whoop your butt, then honestly, he can whoop someone else's. So therefore, I'll say, I don't know what that means. It's like owning a gun. This gun can kill me. But if I can aim it right, not shoot myself in the foot about it, I'll be protected. That's just like a bad boy, but guns don't protect you really. I mean, you gotta learn how to use it. You gotta learn how to be good with a man, just like a relationship. You gotta be good. With it. And of course, you know, we're we're in like you know those high maintenance type of thing where they want a guy who has a lot of money, have a big house, uh, fancy cars, and all that stuff. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with having a man that's established you know what I mean? that's, yeah that's but uh, but I'm just, I'm just saying like when when that when that rich guy becomes you know like the low class guy because he spent all that money for you and then she'll bring it with you and go out with the next rich guy ladies you have got to get with a man that's on the low that has ambition that has time that has the determination to move on up that ladder because once he move up that ladder he's going to appreciate you more than anything else in the world it's like girl you've been through thick and thin with me can't be my wife and that's the real brother you need now if the guy's already up there and that's all you're reaching for he ain't going to respect you because hey you want his money and that's all he's going to think you want so he don't respect you he give you a couple two three hundred dollars even though that'd be nice but he give you two three hundred dollars he think he can treat you like any way he wants Get with a man who has ambition. He may be on the bottom, but stick with him. Stick with him. Stick with him. Bring him up a little bit. Be that support, that backbone. And then guess what? You got a man. Basically, having goals in life, both for men and women as well. Basically, trying to say, stick with the middle class. Don't go for low. Don't go too high. Just stay in the middle because, you know, uh, money doesn't bring you happiness. It's the root of all evil, not the root of all happiness. As long as you guys are together as one, stable in a relationship and stable in uh, financial wise and everything else, and you have your goals all set up, then I guess I shall call that a perfect relationship. It will be a perfect relationship. But you gotta make sure if you get with someone in a low class that's trying to move on up to the east side, I'll be on the west side, but to the east side, you gotta make sure the dude is not sitting on his couch at his mama's house while his mama cooking up a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and he's asking for it while he's just sitting on the couch like this chilling. Hey, make me a peanut butter jelly sandwich. Alright. No, he gotta have ambition. That's the man you need. I'm not gonna say hey, I got ambition. He got ambition. What's uh, up? Anywho, this concludes uh, this video of why women are dumb in a relationship. Uh, this is DJ Creations aka Love Guru and KD. <laughs> and See you guys later.